This is the reason I bought it. DaVinci Resolve Studio. In Thailand it cost 14,000 something baht just for the software, but if you pay 16,000 something baht, you get this speed editor with the software. So 2,000 more, you get speed editor. I've never done a deboxification before, so please bear with me. Come on. Okay. Righty then. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, it's foam. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that's heavy. There's weight to that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I'm immediately attracted to this. Oh, it's it's got a thick rubbery, like a rubber wheel, like a tire on the outside. But it's got weight to it. There's like it feels like a solid lump of of metal. Let's take this out. Put that in there. And I give you a book. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. Download, install. Did you know we have instruction manuals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's just stuff. Okay. Then you have stickers. Yay, stickers, because we all need more stickers. And then here we have DaVinci Revolve 18.5 Studio. This is why I bought that. Oh yeah, and that's good, it's quite long, USB-C, it looks quite long. Because for my setup, I was to go along under the table and back where the computer's hiding. Right, and this just pops over in, I suppose. I cannot uh, set up. I got a monitor, a new monitor for the computer, I had a black line on it, so I returned it. And then I waited like a week and I got a new one. And then... Um, it wasn't working either, so, I'll, so I, I don't have a monitor right now to test this. I'm probably going to have to blank out numbers or something and check the other side. Yeah, there's a big number in the back of that. I'm not going to turn it over. So basically, this is my card. Yeah, it's an activation key. When you first start DaVinci Studio or Fusion Studio, enter the activation key below. Please keep this card in a safe place as lost card or activation keys cannot be replaced. Download your manual from blah, 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 blah. And the key is under my thumbs. Cool bananas. So let's see what the buttons. Ooh. That's an, that feels like an old, remember the first computer you ever had in 1992 or three? That's what the keyboard felt like. Mm -hmm. well, that feels good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this video using this and see if it's any faster. But I don't want to film me learning to use this because it's just going to be me going like this. Uh, oh, no. Uh, ah. So I'll play around with it a little bit. I'll edit this video using this when my new monitor comes. And uh, yeah, well that's it. It feels, it's heavy. That's plastic. This is metal. This feels like rubber. The buttons are amazing. I love the buttons. It's it's heavy. It's I don't know how heavy it is, but it's 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 got good weight to it. I like it, and that's going to sit actually just more or less where it's sitting right now. Mm -hmm. 
I lack it a lot. It does feel a little bit loose. You know, I thought it would have more of a, a friction to it. It, it, it seems very, very free running. I don't know how that's going to be. Maybe it's good for jog, shuttle, scroll. You know, I'm probably going to be using smart and set append a lot. Source, timeline, in, out. These are going to be the main. So it's going to be source, find what I want, in, out, uh, append. And then with timeline, I can you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, and cool. Well, that's what you get in the box.